what's up? So in today's episode of What About I'm Doing Here, we are getting ready for the nearby Silent Bay. Since I've moved here to Indonesia, there's one thing that I didn't know about this place, is that every year they have this one specific event actually that happens to be called the Silent Day. So we're pretty much getting stacked up because all of the places are going to be closed down. No internet, no electricity in some places depending on where you are. Also, have to get ready because there's no type of food ordering online, no type of service working. So we're going to get stacked up. We're here like at the supermarket getting some stuff here to eat. As you can see, we're not the only ones here kind of stressing out. No, of, <laughs> me too. You're stressing out about it as well? Yes. Can we put some alcohol in the trolley now? Please. Yeah, definitely. Let's do that. Thank you. <laughs> Today is one day before the official Nyapai, before the silent day. However, we have a tiny challenge right now. We cannot get a grab, a taxi, any type of service because everything ends now. We was informed, actually very late notice, um, by one of our one of our friends here that we will not be able to book anything after midday on the previous day. So like that was really last moment. So now we're trying to figure that out. So we managed to get the grab already. No, it just told us to try again. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Did you manage to get the grub? Anything? Fingers crossed that we're gonna manage to get all our stuff to the villa at least because otherwise we have to do like a thousand runs with the scooter and we're really trying not to do that. This is pretty nerve-wracking to be honest. Finally managed to get the car, there's like crazy loads of stuff in there like not everything can fit in. Oh my god. Like, this is crazy. Oh shit, I actually need to close this better. Okay. Alright. It's not closed properly. All I can say, at least finally, after all of the hustle, we finally made it. Check this out. place is gorgeous really really gorgeous I have to confess I'm pretty impressed let's check upstairs Ooh la la Shehi these rooms Isn't her six? Hello oh. Welcome to our yeah. After all of the struggle what do you think of being finally at the villa? Thanks so everything happy. seems okay now. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So now it's time to have fun, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh these rooms are massive though. Have you yeah. seen they've got like matching sinks? Can I? Who's yeah. in hers? Put on the hers. Oh, my oh God. Ho, ho. <laughs> Damn, this is bigger than ours. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. Woo. This okay. is Lux. It is, it is. God damn. God damn. It's bigger than ours, definitely. Alright, let's check the others. Boom. This is their room. This is one more room. This is massive. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed by this villa, to be honest, because I haven't watched the photos previously. Only Victor, he was arranging everything and he had the opportunity to see everything, but now just being here after the entire, like I'm literally sweating my ass off, but we got this room. This lovely, lovely room. What a view to the pool. Everything's set to bed, it's pretty big. I think definitely we need some air conditioning, right? This is pretty as well, but they have the bigger one for yeah. sure. Yeah, the bigger that's uh, the... But it's alright. It's fair. Oh, I'm gonna give an intro to everyone. What? Dude, I think we bought groceries for a week or so at least. That's a lot of groceries. Hiya! Uncle Roger! Hiya. Are you happy about the villa? Bro, my tits are cold right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Cool. So you're cooling the boobs right now? Cooling the boobs right now. Oh, oh really? Yeah, they're really? Okay, please. I would love to have one of those. Let me give them out the way or two, man. I got you Look at this disgusting thing I bought. Uh, she's my oh, For you. For you, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> From the finest cat hair made up. Just baby seal skin or something. Okay. <laughs> baby seal skin? No, that's... We're not against animals here, okay? That's a lie. I'm vegan. See, I asked for that. And then we was... This is different. I, I know, dude. Like, bro, I'm staying at hostels for like three months. I've been doing it with my life. 
What is like stay in this place? I'm not leaving. I know. I'm not leaving. Yeah, That's the ultimate goal. Okay, so now we are here like uh, getting the little hold to make us a little bit, you know? Anyways, after the hassle that was getting here, like getting to feel uh, good yeah, word for it. Totally worth it. Like I'm gonna introduce you to each one of the I'm talking as if this is a reality show. It's not a reality show, it's my YouTube channel. But anyways, I'm gonna introduce you to the people in here. My name is Lucas, 25 years old, I come from the south of Sweden from a small city called Helsingborg and I'm a DJ slash bartender. My name is Victor, I'm 28, I'm from uh, Florida in the US. I'm a salesman, uh, currently a professional traveler. I'm using the shit out of this villa. That's what we're doing today. Hi, I'm Laura, I'm from England and I have no job at the moment except trying to make this coffee machine work. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily from Essex and I'm a startup coach in climate tech. Oh, so found, founder vibes? Founder? Founders, yeah. Oh. Top echelons of the company. Only. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're living the, the, the founder life, kind of, yeah? Yes. Well deserved. Well deserved. I see you working quite a lot, so I think this is really deserved. Hi, everyone. I'm Jen. I'm from Canada. I'm 27 years old, and I just quit my job because I didn't want to leave college. So I'm here. <laughs> I'm Cameron. I'm from Scotland. I live in Perth, Australia. And I do FIFO, regular on the mines. I'm Celine and I'm on a gap here. <laughs> yeah, I'm Honestly Jackson, I'm 29 years old. I used to work as a head of product design and now I'm kind of in a sabbatical. So just here to have fun. I'm pretty excited about the villa. So after having a pretty interesting experience at the restaurant and uh, Really long day. We're gonna go explore one of the ceremonies that is close by to us. So come join us. After watching the beautiful parade of Ogo Ogo, which is the night before the silent day, the Niepe, we decided to make some snacks and have some light drinks, nothing so crazy, so that we can be able to have some chat before going to sleep, learn about each other a bit more, because remember, we all met in Bali at the hostel and we decided on the go of, hey, we really bond well. We can definitely learn about each other, spend the Niepe together and have a great time. So that was definitely a great choice because we not only had the opportunity to learn about each other, but have a good time, have a good laugh. Laughing is good for the heart, so why not? So we played some games, different games and had a lot of fun, chilled a bit before going to sleep until the Niepe arrives. How did you sleep last night? Yeah, better than normal, so... Yeah? That's like... How was the celebration for you last night? Especially made. It was huge. It was pretty fire. Yeah? But that was a great celebration. It's out here in Bali at this time. Don't leave Bali. <laughs> what about you? I see that you're making some lovely breakfast right now. Yeah, welcome back to the crew. Tell me about your experience last night. Did you have the opportunity to see the celebration last night or not? I didn't go see the celebration, but I saw it four years ago. It's always amazing. We're going to do bacon, eggs, toast, watermelon, and bananas. All right. In order to celebrate the Niepe Day, we couldn't 100% commit to fasting. However, we wanted to have like a solid breakfast so we can have like, only the dinner during the night. So you had a good sleep? Really good sleep. 
because I had two pillows. <laughs> After having this delicious breakfast made by Jan and Victor, we had the opportunity to hang out and spend more time together, which was really interesting to me because all of us, we come from different backgrounds, we met at a hostel, we had a very good bonding and that was very, very special because it gave us the opportunity to know about each other, know about our differences, know about our culture and learn more about the local tradition. And despite the fact we didn't manage to stay 100% in silent, we still had the chance to appreciate the local culture and respect it by not leaving the villa, by staying in, trying to keep it low-key, trying to spend the maximum quality time together. And that was truly a unique experience. Niepe is definitely a must-do. You should come around to Bali and spend it because it's a truly unique experience. It's a reminder to take time. It's a reminder of the importance of taking time to reflect and self-care. And definitely being able to work on our craft, focus on what we have to do, but still able to enjoy time together and looking in the dark, beautiful skies of Bali, see the beautiful stars was something that I will never forget. Thank you so much for watching the video until the very end. This video is definitely one of my favorite that I've ever made for the YouTube channel and I've learned so much from it, learned so much about the Balinese culture. And if you want to learn more about Bali, you want to stay updated on the upcoming videos, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It will be really appreciated. And don't forget to drop the like button. I don't like asking for likes, but it really helps the algorithm to push the video more, to reach to more people, to learn about Bali, to learn about traveling the world and living a remote life so if you like the video thank you very much and see you in the next one <laughs>